Hello everyone, so this morning I basically got a really really exciting package show up at my door. I ordered this maybe two weeks ago and I'm so happy to say it is finally here. So here is the box. This is two Jeffree Star Velour lip colours and I am super excited to show you. I thought since it's such an exciting little package I may as well do an unboxing for you. This side that I'm not showing you has all of my shipping information, but along the edge you can see the little Jeffree Star logo, so that sort of runs right the way around. And yes, I'm just going to jump straight into opening. Alright, inside, okay, this is what I am looking at. We have, ooh, okay, so very festively wrapped first of all. So we have the Jeffree Star sort of like promo page which is really really cute. I really like those colours. I'm pretty sure this is limited edition holiday package so I didn't order from that today but it's nice knowing what there is available. And we have a return slip and then here is the package. So, I'm quite excited to open this up. Okay. Ooh, alright. So, really nicely packaged. Again, just because it's just after Christmas, we have the really, really cute Jeffree Star label. And some gingerbread man. Again, the Jeffree Star symbol and some Christmas trees. So, that's a nice little touch. I would be super happy if I'd ordered these over Christmas and they came wrapped like that. They also have a protective layer, layer of bubble wrap, so these are like really quite well packaged. I'm really impressed there was never going to be any damage to these. And then here they are. So I have Rich Blood sitting up top and Androgyny. And this is basically everything that I expected from the packaging. The size is what I was expecting. We have the Jeffree Star logo running down the front. Then we have Velour Liquid Lipstick um, on each. And then it says up the side, long lasting, extreme beauty, matte finish, cruelty free, vegan. So he says on the side, tip, exfoliate with lip scrub before use, avoid food with oil and no making out. Kisses are okay. Smile, ready for your close up. So again, everything that I would expect from a long lasting lip color. So I really, really did buy this probably for androgyny. So I'm gonna try and open that first without damaging this. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'll give this a bit of a shake. This is so cute. So it's got Jeffree Star written up the front, Velour Liquid Lipstick. Um, Jeffree Star's sort of written in a pinky, coppery sort of colour, which is really pretty. The lid is gorgeous. Again, Jeffree Star logo up the top with little stars running around the side. And yeah, there's actually a bit more weight in it than what I was expecting, which is really nice. And on the bottom we have the little androgyny label, so I will never forget what colour I have. Oh, okay. Okay, I might give that a bit more of a shake. At first it was just chemical sort of smell, but then I did have a scent come through, so I won't judge it off that first sniff. It's a really unusual smell. Um, I heard somebody describe it as root beer and I can definitely get where they're coming from that but it does have a very very chemical sort of note to it. I didn't quite expect it to be as strong as it is like it is there is quite an odor to this lip product. Um, on the end here we have the doe foot applicator, but what I like about this is it actually seems to be tapered. So it has a little bit of an indent here, which I actually think will probably match a lip shape or the lip shape really, really nicely. It should sort of hug the curve off the lips. So that's really nice. I do like it. I shouldn't judge too harshly of the smell, but that is definitely the main downside that I have at the moment. But the formula looks really, really nice. This color. This colour is gorgeous, that's why I picked it. So I'll do a 
watch and I have to say that applies really really nicely it's full coverage it's not patchy at all it glides on it's a really really wet formula um but what's surprising about this is how liquidy it is but how firmly it seems to stay to the place where you apply it and, and that was just a really really quick messy swatch but it, it's neat at the same time so I think in terms of application that will actually be really quite easy to apply to the lips so I am quite happy with that and the colour is exactly what I expected off the website that is 100% the colour I ordered and I I love that colour. I've been looking for this colour for so long, so I'm really excited about this. We'll move straight on to Rich Blood, which is, in my opinion, a really gorgeous colour from what I saw. Oh, okay. So this is just the red. This is the red I've been looking for again. Jeffree Star Blue Liquid Lipstick in that coppery pink. We have his logo, we have the stars, and Rich Blood written on the bottom. It's beautiful again weighty like the other one I I'm surprised I haven't really felt a liquid lipstick that has this much weight behind it before but I really like that oh this smells completely different to the other one. Oh, okay that's come out really really thick I will assume I didn't shake it well enough In terms of scent, this is nowhere near as strong as the other one. Rich Blood is definitely, definitely a lot nicer. So we'll do a swatch. Again, it applies really nicely. This one feels a lot less liquidy than Androgyny. And I'm not hugely surprised that the formulas between the two are a bit different. This one is one of the Metallics range. So you can... It'll be really hard to see in the camera, but in person you can see that there is sort of a metallic edge to this. You can see the shimmer when it hits a certain light. So that's part of the reason why I decided to get these two colours together. One being just the matte, plain formula, and one being this with the sort of added metallic look. It's surprising, I did think that the metallic would be a bit more extreme, which was actually a worry of mine. I didn't want it to be hugely metallic on my lip. I am more of a plain matte sort of person, but this actually is just such a beautiful colour. I wouldn't call it a cherry, it's sort of in between a cherry or a berry sort of red. It is an absolute beautiful colour. I, I adore both of these. So in terms of first impressions, and initial reaction to these products. Packaging's great, really, really sturdy and secure. The products themselves are so liquidy, but they go on so precisely. While they are slightly different in formula, Androgyny does have a pretty strong chemical odor to it, whereas Rich Blood definitely doesn't have a strong an odor. Everything else has just been really really great um i'm really really happy with these i'm so excited they arrived today so that i can film this video for you guys and i guess the final test is actually swatching them on my lips so i will get straight on to that <laughs> So I've just popped Androgyny on my lips and I have to say the colour again is everything I wanted from this liquid lipstick and I think it's just so spot on and it's such a pretty colour. It's, it's exactly as advertised, it's everything I expected from it so I really 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 rate the colour payoff in this. It's not patchy, the application was so easy. I find a lot of liquid lipsticks can be quite um, fiddly and it can be quite tricky to get them on neatly and on as you want them, but because this doe foot applicator is curved, you really feel the difference in the application and I, I cannot, cannot rave about the actual applicator enough. Um, I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Again, it's so, so watery, the consistency. You sort of almost glide across your lips, which is not a criticism at all. I actually think that's great. Um, it feels really, really lightweight. I can feel it drying now, so 
hopefully by the time I finish speaking we'll be able to see if it transfers or not but um, yeah I, I don't actually have a criticism about the application of this even as it's drying I can see it isn't doing that super harsh cracked lip look I it is dry it is drying matte but it doesn't look like you know I need to put lip balm on really really quickly or really severely it's it's nice it's really nice the way it's setting on me all right so I've given this about a minute or two to dry I am honestly loving this color the more and more it's sitting on my lips we'll do a transfer test I'll just do that on the back of my hand we'll see what the transfer is like after this amount of time it is still slightly tacky on my lips so I'm not expecting it to be perfect but we'll see Alright, that's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. It's just the lightest full outline off my lips. And that is exactly what I was expecting. It doesn't feel fully dry to me quite yet. So yeah, I believe what the packaging said. I believe it is kiss proof, smudge proof. But anything more, if you're making out with someone, I would definitely say that it will come off that. This formula feels really, really nice on the lip and it's drying really nicely and yeah, I'm really, really happy. So we'll see how Rich Blood compares. <laughs> Now, as you can see, Rich Blood is just such a beautiful colour again. The applicator, the doe foot applicator with the slight curve, again, really matches your lips. Really makes it quite easy to apply the lipstick. So, I'm really, really happy with that. The colour is pretty much exactly as I would have expected it from the bottle, from the advertising on his website. Jeffree Star colour matches really well. The payoff's really good. I don't find these to be patchy at all. And again... Both of these were done with just a single coat and the coats just glide on. This formula again is slightly different, slightly thicker. Androgyny was so simple to put on, I don't think you can really get androgyny wrong. This one, also because the red's quite a vibrant colour, you do have to pay a little bit more attention when you do apply it. But again, that could be more of a criticism on my abilities to apply these liquid lipsticks. But I, yeah, I am so pleased with both these products that I picked up, the colours are incredible. The products just seem like they really are long lasting. We'll do a quick test. It feels quite tacky on my lips still, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is a bit of a mark. So after about two minutes, it's still quite wet and I can feel that it's quite tacky on my lips, but I fully anticipate that after about five minutes, it will be very dry, very matte, like the androgyny color went on my lips. So I am not too worried about the fact that this is slightly slower drying. Again, both formulas are slightly different. This one probably due to the metallic flakes that you can just notice in them again i love that it's subtle i love that it's not like a super metallic lip it's just got that little bit of a shimmer in certain lights so yeah in short i literally could not be happier with both of these the only small criticism is that androgyny comes with quite a strong chemical scent but other than that the application of these is phenomenal i love the texture of the velour liquid lipsticks themselves they're really, really wet, really, really thin feeling as they go on, but the colour payoff is incredible. One coat, there is no patchiness. They are very, very quick drying, and I'm just so pleased with these as products. They have totally lived up to my expectations and more. The packaging's great, and I really do hope you enjoyed sort of going through the process of opening these and testing them out with me. If any of you have any of Jeffree's colours that you really think that I should invest in, please leave a comment below. Let me know about how you found them. What were your first impressions? What are your long-lasting impressions? Let me know what you think of these products, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.